Hi, I am Dr. Rahul Bharad. I welcome you all to my series, What Life Has Taught Me Yesterday. Today, when I am recording this video, it is 29th of July, 2023. I will be talking about 28th of July has taught me in life. It was very important uh, message uh, health-wise as far as uh, my duties were concerned. And it, it is about pregnant ladies and her uh, babies getting affected with jaundice. So stay tuned till the end of the video to know more about that. What most important lesson I got from yesterday's case. About the most important news I came across yesterday is about global warming. We all the time talk about various hazards of global warming and how it is affect it is going to affect in future if we continue to damage our mother earth like this. But scientists have proven now that the glaciers in the arctic area are melting very rapidly and that is causing release of so many different varieties of bacteria and viruses into the environment that it is going it is affecting the animals living there and in future there is probability that human beings also can get affected with these kind of zoonotic conditions so there is a significant news about that i'll be discussing in this video so stay tuned till the end of the video about the most trending news i came across yesterday is about world hepatitis day what who has to say about world hepatitis day and what is who's plan to reduce cases of hepatitis across the globe i'll be discussing in this video about the most important news i came across yesterday is about a pregnant lady whose blood group is negative <clears throat> it's called rh negative if you have uh, known the medical entity <clears throat> no those mothers who are having uh, rh negative blood groups uh, if they have a first baby <clears throat> who is rh positive then they are more likely to have jaundice in their second third and subsequent children very severe levels if they are treated properly there is no doubt that they will have problem because uh, there is no doubt that they will they can reduce the chances of that problem because if an rh negative mother has a baby who is rh positive at the first time and if that mother receives anti d uh, injection timely we can significantly reduce the chances of further future babies having uh, jaundice because of rh incompatibility it is called rh incompatibility that is mismatch between the mother's blood group rh status and baby's blood group so what happened i we came across a case where mother uh, is having third child and the first two children are 12 years old and 9 years old now the mother is not having any record whether she has received uh, anti d injection in the previous pregnancies or not whether uh, she was given any kind of injection she doesn't remember and her blood group is negative the third child's blood group is positive now this pregnancy she has received anti d but the injection is usually given uh, after the pregnancy so this baby will not get benefits of that anti d injection most important lesson we got from such cases that we need to document these cases uh, more rampantly and more precisely all the relatives who are there with the mother whenever you give anti d should be counseled enough so that in case even if mother forgets whether she has received that treatment or not we shall be able to communicate it properly so probably that was the most important lesson because it is about preventing severe damage to the brain of the future babies if at all the baby has very high levels of jaundice and baby develops kernic teres that is a brain uh, depositing uh, phenomenon of bilirubin that is not going to be helpful for anyone neither the baby nor the mother to handle such cases so it is very important to educate all the parents uh, those uh, mothers who are having rh negative blood groups throughout pregnancy it is duty of the all the uh, caretakers all the uh, nurses all the relatives also if mother is having rh negative blood group please counsel the parents well tell them what are consequences and what what are the things they are undergoing in case of treatment so that they remember those things if she has received anti d in the pregnancy she should be known uh, she should be knowing it firmly uh, which brand when it was given within how many hours of delivery it was given and what is the status so that's probably the most important lesson i got from yesterday's life about the most important news i came across yesterday is about global warming affecting arctic region now it's almost uh, estimated that 6 trillion 
four sex trillion microorganisms are released into the environment in the arctic area because of global warming that's very huge number of microorganisms recently uh, there was a case in 2016 of uh, anthrax uh, epidemic across the reindeer which, which affected so many reindeers in the arctic region and killed them so why it is happening because of global warming the glaciers are melting fine very fine microorganisms which were invaded which had invaded there uh, leaving there since many years many thousands years also are getting released now that is not <clears throat> the thing which will affect human beings very badly very soon but there is probability that in future we all know that in the past it has happened that uh, corona virus ebola virus these kind of viruses have been transmitted to human beings through animals in future we might have to face such pandemic because of these uh, zoonotic animal transmissions happening across the arctic so we all need to be very aware about preventing this global warming and uh, be aware about all these zoonotic conditions so i'll be sharing a link in the description box if you want to read more please go to the description box and read mo more about it and most trending news i came across yesterday is about hepatitis yesterday was world hepatitis day on 28th of july who has uh, said has asked all the doctors to accelerate testing hepatitis testing and treatment so every uh, caretaker every health professional should be knowing that there is only one life and one liver we have that is the theme declared by the who on this world hepatitis day so we all should take care of the livers of all the people we are seeing uh, chronic hepatitis b and chronic hepatitis c these are very uh, serious and bad conditions nowadays uh, the management is improving day by day as the progress is happening more and more so so as to prevent it we all must ensure that there is maximum coverage of the hepatitis b vaccination soon after the birth so as a neonatologist also it is my duty to give that vaccination very soon after the birth and all the patients uh, who are uh, getting delivered uh, having their baby should get hepatitis b vaccine as a priority because that will prevent further future chances of having chronic hepatitis b and c so i'll be sharing link in the description box about that trending news by who's uh, celebration of world hepatitis day how do you think about this news of uh glaciers having microorganisms and future chances of slight chances though but chances are there of having uh, infections and pandemic i'm not trying to create any panic situation but i'm just trying to make you people alarmed and knowledgeable about what can happen if we continue to damage our mother earth so stay tuned till the end of stay tuned for more such videos about these on my channel please like share and subscribe to my channel for today we'll stop here bye bye